getting the dirt bagger out. You just got everybody to get excited about the dirt bagger. Hello friends, welcome back to Bag of Butter. There was an absolute explosion of ad hads in here, kind of all over the place a little bit. It all started here, uh, still waiting on a couple parts. However, those came around, that looks pretty schnazzy. Nobody panic, I got new bars coming for these, but I just kind of want to show that off for a second. That's kind of a B.I.B. original right there, set of little risers that's got the picker titty rails right there, right on the front, so you can, you know, just kind of attachulate anything that you want to attachulize in kind of an attachatorial fashion. Those are going to be coming around. Go check out the website, you can take a look on there, and you're going to be seeing those coming along fresh, so if you want them, then you can, you can get a pair if you want. Uh, you don't you don't have to but I got a spare right here and there's you know just in case it's probably gonna end up on the dirty bagger though I'm, I'm being honest with you, but i found myself just kind of you know it's, like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. it's not a real it's not real well real one. It just kind of looks like Kind of rad anyway, so I'll show you that again once I've got some handlebars that are actually supposed to fit on along that those are going to be coming along as well we got some triple a trees that are going to hold all that together and we'll do a full scale walkie and talkie when we know we got time for the sports reaction there because there's a lot going on with that too but not all the not all the parts are here and then the the head heads just struck fierce and well here we are all of a sudden i was into the turbochargers going i wonder if that could fit right there uh it could it, it definitely could fit. that would be fine probably if we put that there uh but since i was over yonder anywho looking at the whirly boys up on the shelf uh, i kept stumbling upon the dirt bagger and uh before i knew it i kind of just put that back into some sort of fashion in which is less uh terrible you might remember back to the days of yonder when i decided it'd be a good idea to that thing right out of that frame thinking i was going to just rebuild it with some aluminiums around the top of the mojer which you know that was a terrible idea i don't know what past nate was thinking with that but he must have been in a room with a whole bunch of mushes or something i don't know what that was all about but we've got her kind of put back together in a fashion that i enjoy uh you know not really intentionalizing on using any sort of shenanigans that the factory had placed on to yonder so you know this will probably do the job just fine or it'll fall out the bottom of the motorcycle <laughs> you know it's just never know these days is is the thing and now i'm staring my eyeball holes at that right there uh so i think what's gonna happen now is we're gonna start on another project that actually was already started upon long ago long before the stars fell through the sky but we're we're back now we're refocused reanalyzed resituated and reconfoculized i guess i didn't actually plan on doing this if i'm being honest i was going to put a mojer into the bathtub tank because here's what happened is uh flashback real fast kevin blew that up <laughs> shocking turn of events it actually wasn't me this time that blew up the bath tank old sleepy kev took care of her on that go around didn't even make a full 34 seconds well, old kever just blew her right up seized good all right well tow truck time <laughs> Oops. <laughs> shame, shame. We're into it. One, two, three, Ocho, and then it'll, and then we'll just see what it was that he's done. Hold that one though. Just kidding. Just no. Just stay put, would you? Just stay right yeah. there. Just think about what you did. Okay, let's take bets here. Before we take these lids off of here, what do we think happened to this here Mojer that Kevin was driving around in? Gary, any guesses? Seize. Oh, it's seconds. certainly stuck. Kevin, what do you think you did? It, it's not good. Let's pull the lids off. Can you grab that one? We'll pull this one. 20 seconds worth of fun. Oh, oh no! Buddy. Oh! There's things falling out of that. That's not what you That's want. just all just hot piston in there. That is is what we got. Where did that even come from? What is this? No, no, there's things in the bottom of the mojer that are now... <laughs> Not happy to be there is what just that was. Did we blow the bottom of the mojer apart? Cause it kind of looks like it. That's doing some wiggly bits. We might, it might, here's the thing is it might be, uh, 
Might be a new motor day here, friends. I blame Oh, that. sleepy cat. Ah. You done ruined another one. No, it was past Nate. Nope, nope. Past Nate wasn't even in the rig this time. Okay, stop turning it around in there because you're making all the crunchy you bits just it. turn into powder. It could poop. just free up, you know? It's, that's not how this worked. <laughs> oh, see? It freed up. It didn't free up. Look you at it. moved all Look the garbage to somewhere else. Thanks for Josh. Appreciate the mojer, buddy. Uh, Kevin said fuck you very much about it and sent her to the moon. That's fine. We'll just get another one. We got, this will be mojo number three for the bathtub tank. Technically four, because we tried EV. That didn't go well either. Well, this seems like a nice problem for future Nate. Thanks, old sleepy Kev. Sure appreciate you for that, buddy. Oh, by the way, Bryce actually said that he was going to uh, just boot me right in the PP if I didn't show the thing that we had created. So just stand by for a second. A little screen there. We've got... We've got some t-shirts here that got the bathtub tank on there, which is, you know, that's kind of neat. You know, look at that. That is, that is snazzy on there. Looks good. Prints nice. Got, you know, just kind of bit of a, you know, bit of a stoned lizard on there doing, you know, the bathtub operations. That just seems like it makes sense. You know, let's look at that. Let's see it in the sunlight. Yeah. Look at that. Sharp. Ah. I've never looked so good. Anyway, I've got like 60 of them, maybe, or 34, 112, I don't remember, but there's not a whole bunch of them, so. Every day, there are literally ones of bathtub tanks with underpowered motors that just keep blowing up. You could help support the curse of the bath tank by buying a bathtub t-shirt, and then, and then I can put a better Maybe like a really overpowered snowmobile engine or something. I don't listen. The voice is dumb now. Is the thing. Any who's it? Where is it? And why is it now? That we need to put something else in that. Yeah, go on. There's a website. You know, get drop that in there and get yourself get yourself one of those bathtub tank T-shirts to just kind of sport around if you're digging on that. And if you if you'd rather you know support the channel in a different way, uh, cause. Because you got too much money. Uh, Patreon, that's a good spot to go to. You can get yourself up onto the wall. Heroes and legends, you know, up on top there with all those fine folks that are subscribing to the content, which is honestly probably the best way to support the channel. So uh, you go do that if you if you want. Anywho, we're going to, this is, oh, we got a mess. I'm going to watch. It might be neat on the time lapse. I don't know. it'd be a great idea to just kind of wallop and chollop that all framular section up into a bunch of different pieces and then basically forgot about it for two and a half years yeah me too i'm wait till you see what i do with this little up downulizer here this is gonna be a mess now there's about 112 steps on this thing that we're gonna have to get done in about six and a half minutes uh that's fine i'm gonna start on step 12. i've got some big pieces of unstainable steel here and we're just gonna kind of chunk some holes in that and make those little bits there and that that seems like a good place to good place to start so what's marks that go now this speedy razor blade definitely in for the disdainables and she's already missing a couple teeth that's fine we're just gonna treat her like it's her first time you know take her real slow hit her with a little bit of you know marine's favorite snack and it'll probably be fine <laughs> Oh yeah, I think she came. <laughs> Dang girl, did you just come twice? <laughs> you bet your sweet bippy I did. <laughs> so we, a couple blockular bits out of there right there. I've adhered some geometricals onto the front of this face here. I'm thinking that maybe we could just kind of sketch this up onto the computerizer and probably have the arc droid hit that with the lightsaber. Might be the most accurate way of doing this, thank. <laughs> I've concocted some schemery here. Let's see what happens if we just send this on its way here. It's gonna be close, I don't know. Okay, well we're in the right spot to start with, kinda. Oh no. Okay, what does that mean? I don't know what just happened, do it again.
Well, it... Ah. Try this again, 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 this time. Run. <laughs> we got a tube laser, how neat. Look at what we got. Can you see what my brain's thinking about here now? This is, this is gonna be great. <laughs> That was a three and a half hour hole. <laughs> I have uh, shantied Wanderly two ends to the shop this morning and it is just an absolute swath of destruction in here, it seems, is what we got. I don't know why Passnate thought it'd be necessary to just spread all of this yonder and all over about. Uh, that's fine. Let me just get you caught up on some ketchup here as to what we had polished off last night. Uh, took me three and a half hours to drill a couple holes in those blocks, but now they're looking pretty sharp. You know, they're nice and smooth when you put your finger in there, which that's how you know it's good. <laughs> it's looking pretty good, I think. So what schemery is going on over onto this way? You know, I don't know. We just haven't gotten quite that far yet. I still need to, you know, kind of figure out how to put a little of a bit of a comeback, come forth into there. If you think you got a good idea for that, drop it down below. Let me know what you think. I've got some ideas popping in the old brain noggin this morning. So we'll probably come up with something fresh and jazzy to just make that do things. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to polish those to a nice shine, you know, really make them spiffy, might be neat. What colors should we do, by the way? I was wondering if you could let me know what you think about colors, because I've got, you know, she is the dirtbagger, but at one point in her life she was kind of a, you know, proud desert tan. And I think we're going to keep that, you know, as far as the medley bits go. But for powder chowdery on them frame rails and whatnot, what do you think, you know? Swing arm, what what color do you think that should be? Handlebars, what, where should we go with those? Those come on up upulizers. <clears throat> oh yeah. You can't do it, friends, you can't pick a set of those up without just going, I'm John Wayne, two, two, two. Can't do it. Yeah, oh yeah, colors, what do you think? Well, just let me know what you think about some, you know, fancy colorations inside on the all the rounds here. B.I.B. fashion. Sucker runs like shit. I think it's got something to do with this doohickey that I done, you know, just kind of put a cork in uh, or something. Or maybe it wants a field tray on there. Could be that. I don't know. Either way, that's probably going to end up on Kill Hill in 20 minutes, I'm sure. You're going to be upset. The femaler hath arrived, and with her she brought which the new Frigidarator. Frigidarator. So, we're gonna do that. Oh, she's perfect in every way, other than, you know, she doesn't quite look like her, you know, profile picture did. That's other, you know, cause of the, you know, other than that, and it doesn't quite actually fit all the way all up into, but that's fine. You know, I've, you know, got myself into thicker situations if you get my meaning here, so we can probably make that fit just fine. Leave it to pass, Nate, to cause more work for me. He just sliced all that out of there for some ungodly known reason. That's fine, you know, we'll just, a little bit of and then it'll probably all tie together in, you know, pretty functional fashion. Pass, Nate, strikes again. Who'd have thunk it? You had a 9,000 pound top to your tabular bit and not upgrade them little swivelly boys, you're gonna end up with a blowout. It's guaranteed, so 
Side quest. Measure none, cut a bunch. We don't quite clear that corner. That's fine. We could probably just 45 that pig out of there. She was not honest about her size. That's also I might have made the bed frame bigger than you know I really anticipized. So that's that'll be fine. Well, now we've got you know a rhombus, but it clears. So that's all that I actually really care about. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed just the right amount you can just see the weld through your eyelids. That's that works fine. Now I still gotta you know test fit everything and do some powder chowdery, so I'm gonna rivet it in there right away. That'll be it'll be fine for future Nate, I'm sure. Okay, there's one. Does it fit? I can't actually I don't know. Holy cow, I don't even believe it. That's gonna work. Oh, wait, fucking put that back, dummy. Okay, good work. Look, all in a day's work, we got nothing done. <laughs> Thanks for watching Break It Better, okay, bye. This is gonna be, okay, pull it out again. Ugh. Okay, try it again. Come on now. Fuck. <laughs> I'd be really upset about this when I'm bonking around on a trail going, Man, I wish I had that clearance for the wheels. Still! Pull it out again! I should have done this more nicely than this, but... Do we need a Count, that's hammer? fine. No, it's, that's... That counts as clearance, Clarence. There. Duh! This is perfect! The whole thing, who doubted me? Quit doubting me. I told you, you just gotta... Even when she's a little hefty, you just bang her in there, it'll come around for you. Can you subscribe to my OnlyFans? It's literally like $2 a month. I have some like pictures of my butthole filled with peanut butter.